you're struggling with your driver, it's simple. You're not swinging it. The majority of people are trying to accelerate the golf club to the golf ball instead of swinging the golf club through the golf ball. The whole idea of the driver swing, and quite honestly all swings, is to accelerate the golf club through the ball. But the actual acceleration of the golf club is happening at the very last moment before impact. The club is almost, if you look at the handle, at, at the height of the ball before the acceleration really starts. And this is only happening by top players. All of the hobby golfers are out there killing snakes, trying to accelerate the club from the top of the arc to the ball in a straight line. And you can't do this. The golf club must automatically move through an arc, falling on a flatter plane back to the ball than it's taken away from the ball. And by allowing this to happen, you will actually shallow out the impact of the club and the ball. And it will allow you to hold this angle for longer, allowing you to release it at the very, very last moment. Taking the club up and bringing it down in the same line forces you to release the wrists far too early allowing the club to move around its arc and fall on the other side will actually physically hold the wrist angle without you blocking the wrists. And that is basically the big key. But in order to do that, you've got to be working with the wrists in the backswing, lifting and rotating the club onto plane and then dropping the club. Your body has got to wait for the club to come down. That means not starting an aggressive turn to it back towards the target from the top of the swing, but rather relaxing as the club drops, bending the knees, sitting into the shot, but allowing the hips to rotate back into it, their starting position, if not a little further. And it's the explosion out of the legs at the bottom of the arc which is really doing all the work. As the legs explode back, pushing the hips out of the way, they create a chain reaction which moves this lead shoulder up and back. And it's this abrupt change of direction of the grip end caused by this movement. Rather than moving further and further towards the target, the actual grip end is stopped and pulled up away from the ball catapulting the club head down towards the ball. And that's what's going on in a driver swing and in the truth in every swing you have. The only difference in the driver swing is it's even more important because we don't want to be hitting the ball in the downswing, we want to be hitting it in the upswing. So we've got to get this golf club back into extension with the lead arm before we get to the ball in order to hit it in the upswing. And that's not something that you're going to be able to do if you're pushing the club and the shaft forward through the ball and therefore hitting the ball consciously or unconsciously in the downswing. Getting this left shoulder away from the ball at the right time, getting that club head to accelerate down through the ball is the key to success. And this is the reason why we have the ball forward in the stance we stand wider, we get the tail, trail shoulder a bit deeper so that we're automatically able to hit more into the back of the golf ball. And then when we hit it, we let it really wait till the last moment before we go into this extension. If you're really looking for power then, it's all about getting the extension and this release happening at the very last moment and as violently as you can. That means as you come down into your downswing, you're loading the ground and then pushing away from the ground at the moment of impact. And this will accelerate the club down and through the ball, almost to the point where you have the feeling that you're almost jumping at it. Now, if you look at that in slow motion, I'm probably not, but it certainly feels like I am. And if you look at the 
distance and the direction of the golf ball, you can see that the golf ball is really getting a good whack on the bum as it comes through because I'm not accelerating from the top into the back of the ball. I'm accelerating from the bottom of the swing arc through and up through the golf ball. And that's what's giving me this consistency and this distance. And that's all basically because I'm using the physics and allowing the club head to swing. It's in the title, it's a golf swing. And if you're not swinging the driver, then you're not going to be hitting the golf ball as far and as straight as is possible. Hope you like it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so far. Um, I'll big, big thank you also to all of my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron to the channel, I'll leave a link below. Until the next time, goodbye.